morning. So today is Thursday, July 28th. Um, it is the second to last day before my last, before the end of my second clinical rotation. Um, summer was really short for us. So um, we only have like two and a half months, I think at this rotation but it's been great for me so today i'm gonna go in i do have some like thank you cards that i'm gonna give the techs because they really helped me a lot this semester um and yeah so i'm gonna have some breakfast i'll show you guys that i'm gonna go over head over to the hospital and get my day going for reference like i wake up around like 6 a.m and then i'll leave around like 7 30 because the hospital is not that far from my house thank god because my first clinical rotation was an hour and 30 minutes away from me so yeah so i'm just gonna chill for a second i'm gonna go downstairs i'm going to um eat some breakfast and yeah and this is the backpack that i like to bring i guess i'll kind of show you guys what i bring so in here i just have some gum and then in here I have like some of my medications. I have my little notepad that I like to keep in my pocket all day. I have my charger for my iPad. Um, and then I'll have some like extra like mascara, lip gloss, etc. Cause I'm a girly girl like that. <laughs> so in here I have my charger for my phone. I have the thank you cards and I'm gonna give the text. I take my wallet. I have another journal just in case I forget this one um, that I put my logs in so that it's easier for me to log um, online because we do online logs. I bring my tablet with me. This is like my lifesaver. Um, I take all my notes in here. I have access to all my school's like PowerPoints and everything. So this is perfect, like all in one. Sometimes I do like to write physical notes, but this right here helps me a lot. Um, and I guess I'll go into more details about that in like another video about like how I've like studied throughout the program and what's kept me organized. But this iPad right here, I bought it when I started the program, like a few months in, I was like, I think I need this. And this has been like the best purchase I have ever made. And then I have some pens and stuff behind. And yeah, that is my clinical bag. So before I get the day started, I want to let you guys know. So when I go in, right, I see if there's patients and stuff. And if there's not, I start to restock the rooms. I make sure that everything is kind of organized. I wipe down the machines for them. Um, and then once I'm finished with all of that, because I also like to make sure that the rooms that they do the procedures in have, you know, the proper size gloves for like the doctor that's there that day. Um, and make sure they'll have like um, marking pens like surgical pen markers and all that um, and then after that I'll go back and if there's nothing I'll start studying so I'll take my tablet out and I start, just start studying I like to make notes I use good notes for my notes and then recently I've also been using Google Docs but like I said that's another video um, but yeah so I'll do that I'll if we have a lot of procedures I'll start setting up like the buckets so I'll basically put the lids on the buckets I put the treated biomedical waste sticker on them um, just so that they're prepared um, if there's like multiple parasynthesis I know that I'm gonna need quite a few because you don't know how much fluid you know that patient has thoracentesis I'll probably do like two at the most for those patients but so let's say if I see like there's like three thoras I'll do six buckets you know what I mean I'll, I kind of do it like that as a start but then um as I'm with that tech who's doing that exam or like that procedure I kind of like eyeball it I'm like okay we'll probably need like one two more so then I'll set those up but I always keep those in the little room where they set up like the trays and stuff like I'll keep some um just buckets and then lids so that I could set that up real easily if we need more another thing that I like to do because at my first hospital and I feel like this is a good tip I guess at my first hospital they always printed out the schedule because it was such a small hospital so I always <clears throat> excuse me I always paid attention to that if I needed any comps like I would kind of look at the schedule and then I'll tell the tech like hey you know, do you mind if when this patient comes, I scan or I start it so that I can comp on it, you know? Um, at the hospital that I'm at now, they don't really do printed out schedules. It, it kind of is just as the day goes. There'll be some scheduled patients, but they have um, different folders. So it'll be inpatient, outpatient, etc. 
Um, so what I like to do, I always, when I turn on the machines and stuff, I always just refresh the work list. And if I notice that it's slow, I'll keep going and I'll refresh the work list. Like just to kind of see like where we're at for the day. And if the vascular side has any exams that maybe I can go watch and scan. Or if general is going to have something soon, you know, I'll kind of refresh the work list. Also at my site here, I've noticed that I have to pay attention to the, those doors opening in the department. So every time I hear it, I get up, I run. Okay, I don't run, but you know, I get up, I'll see what's going on. If I see a patient's being transported in, I'll help them get that patient into the room. And then I'll see if I can scan from there or observe. Um, and yeah, if I see like a tech is about to leave, I'm like, hey, do you mind if I come with you? I can observe or I can start, you know? Um, it just really always depends also on how busy the day is. So if the day is pretty slow, you know, I you can scan whatever and then if it's pretty busy you know you'll probably be observing or just like really back scanning but that all depends like communicate with your techs you know i don't think that it's a bad thing to show that you want to learn and want to scan i know that certain techs can interpret it maybe as like annoying like because every single tech is different so my advice for that when you're going into clinicals or when you're at clinicals is you're honestly going to learn how each tech is. You're going to learn how each tech is in regards to like when you scan. You're going to learn how each tech likes to take their images and so on and so forth. So it's really all always like a learning process. But I find that towards the end of my rotation, I'm like, OK, like I, I know what this tech likes. I know what this tech likes. So let me, you know, set the room up this way or let me make sure that when I'm done scanning, I prep the patient this way for the tech to come in um so yeah i feel like there's a lot that go into like clinicals for sonography but once you get the hang of it it's fine it's kind of like a like second nature to you like just like the scanning like you're like okay boom i'm doing a bpp i'm looking for breathing movement heart stomach bladder heart rate kidneys placenta amniotic fluid you know so yeah it takes time but I think you guys will be fine, but yeah. So I'm gonna head over there. I'm not gonna record while I'm there because, you know, I don't wanna get in trouble, but I guess when I come back, I always, like I said, I log with those journals. So I'll log, you know, whatever exams I had, and then I'll just go through the Google images and kind of show you guys and give you a briefing of like the cases that I saw and like, you know, if I scanned, etc. Yeah. Also, I have a study group tonight, so I'll show you guys a little bit of that because finals are coming up. It's crazy after the semester ends in early august i'll be in my last semester of school so that's great so yeah i will check in with you guys later So I'm just going to go over some really cool cases that I got to see with you, see, um, with you guys. So, and I'll probably put some like Google images maybe to show. Um, let me. So today I got to see a venous leg, a bilateral venous leg, but it was on an amputee patient. So basically instead, basically the tech stopped at, um, femoral vein distal because there was no pop or anything so um and in that patient she was saying she had gotten her um legs amputated because she was dealing with like blood clots like years ago and it looks like that you know there's something going on there now too so that was really interesting though because i've never really seen venus or any leg exams done on like an amputee patient so that was interesting for me as a student I also saw um, bilateral venous legs and bilateral arms and I've been really trying to practice arms and the tech was kind enough I was doing the arms and she was like you know what she was like you did a really great job like I can comp you on that so I got a vascular competency so that's three out of eight 
in order to sit for my RBT, so I am excited. Um, I was really nervous, but you know, she was with me and she always watches me scan and gives me really great feedback. So that was really sweet of her. And I think that that was really, um, it was a really good exam for me to do um, because I just started practicing them in school. So to actually do them on actual patients was really good. Um, I believe patient had like some thrombus. She had a, um, a central, oh my gosh, I'm going to say this so wrong. She had a central line through her internal jugular vein and that had, at the point of the internal jugular vein, had plaque around it. So that was definitely noted um, and it was really interesting. And then I just did, I was mainly in vascular, so I saw some like OB through like the ER, which was interesting. Everything was good, thank goodness. Um, and then I also saw two abdomen limiteds. One of them I observed, the second one I scanned, and um, the person had gallstones, I found the gallstones, um, cause I scanned first and the tech came in, so that was pretty cool. Um, what else, what else, what else? That was really it. I did a transvaginal, ultrasound right before I left um, I love to do transvaginal ultrasounds I think they're really satisfying when you get like those really pretty images and I love the fact that like the camera is actually closer to the organ so that you can get a really nice close look um, so yeah that was pretty cool to see so we also had a patient who came to the ER for right upper quadrant pain so we did an abdomen limited and basically the patient was positive for um, cholecystitis and the gallbladder wall was pretty thick too so that was really interesting to see actually on ultrasound um, I'm gonna put in some pictures of what it looks like on ultrasound but um, it was acute cholecystitis I think she had a CT scan beforehand and they put in there that they think that she had coli um cystitis so then they ordered an ultrasound and then our exam did confirm that patient did have coli cystitis so it was acute coli cystitis but it was um it was really interesting to see so i'm gonna put some images of like what i saw um from google but yeah very very interesting pathology kind of that i saw today so I saw some really cool exams today. So now it's around 6.15. I got back around like two hours, like an hour ago. Yeah, like an hour and a half ago. And I'm dressed now and I'm gonna go ahead and go to study group, so. But today was a really great day at clinical. I was so happy that I was able to get a vascular comp. Like, I'm so grateful for my clinical site. They've helped me out so much and they're so, they're willing to teach me, um, which I love. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm sad that it's coming to an end tomorrow. It's going to be my last day there. But thankfully, they called me back. So I'll be going there for my final rotation too. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I think today was really a good day. Um, like I said, I spend most of my days now in, on the vascular side because they have a specific vascular um, site at my hospital. So um, it was really cool to get hands-on experience with it today and actually get to comp. I was grateful, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go over to study group. I gotta see what the girls are and see, you know, where they're at, where they, when they want to meet, whatever, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Okay, so I just got back from my little study day with my curls and I am hooped, okay? I feel like I had a really long day at clinical. My mascara is going under my eye, like that is so embarrassing, ew. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely want to do this when I get into my final rotation, so be tuned for that video. I hope this video was helpful. I know that I can't really, you know, record while I'm at clinical. Um, but I hope that this video kind of gives you kind of like what it's like in a day of a sonography student. Um, it's tiresome, but it's totally worth it and I am excited for the future. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm definitely going to make a video answering all your questions. Um, I'm going to link down the videos down below where you, you can leave the questions. So I'm just going to go back and forth between those so that I can have them in like one place. 
and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye